Well, this is a good sign. <clears throat> Shout out number one, we'll get that in right now. Let's get this out, get this out. <clears throat> Well, hello, and welcome to IamJoshKnox.com. I'm your host. That's right, I am Josh Knox. Uh, today, I want to take a look. i got to stop pausing and saying, oh, let's keep rolling. <clears throat> hello, and welcome to IamJoshKnox.com. I'm your host. That's right, I am Josh Knox. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the new grid capabilities in Dynamics Finance and Operations. I like these a lot. I think they're sort of like a step to take list pages and sort of excelify these, these list pages. I like to think about every UI improvement that's happening in here is just the excelification of some of these, these grids to give more, more flexibility to how you see and consume data on, on list pages and forms. Uh, I just want to point out uh, here in this environment that I'm looking at, you can see this is uh, right 10.0.19. It's update 43. You know, this is the, the latest and greatest part of, of having a, an updated environment. <clears throat> right within feature management, you can look at released features. And so I'm in feature management. I've filtered for you know all features that are related to grids, and you can see that I've I've enabled these features. Right, so we have that that new grid control. That was released, uh, you know, back at the end of 2019. Right, grouping. These are things that we've talked about. Um, some additional enhancements to grids, 
And then this, this freezing columns and grids is the new feature that I want to really look at that I'm excited about. I think it's, it's kind of fun, right? Or as fun as, as, a, it's as fun as the ERP gets, right? Uh, so all of these grid controls, they're, they, they're enacted just like personalizations, right? So if I press control shift P, I can bring up this, this personalization bar to, uh, you know, make a, a grid, right? We're looking at a list page right now. I can use personalizations to, to switch things around, make this grid more convenient to myself. So the you know, first thing I'm going to do is I'd like to add a couple columns. We have, this is a list of hours transactions. We have hours right here with a, a cost price and a sales price. I'd like to bring in a total cost price and a total sales price, which I know is part of the data here. It's just not naturally exposed on the table. So if I right click, I can say insert columns. I'm gonna find yep, the, the total cost amount, total sales amount, select them, and bring them in. And you can see, let's try it one more time. Uh, insert columns. Try to bring them in. Let's see, maybe they're already here. They're just hiding. So that's kind of silly. But anyways, I've, I've unhidden them. They're a part of this form. I'm going to use the move function just to bring them a little bit closer, you know, I, I click the move button. So this is selected, click on the column that I want. I'm using the left arrow and you can see as I use the left arrow, this orange bar pops out. And so I can bring the total cost amount next to the cost price and press enter to sort of sync that total cost amount in there. I have move selected in blue again. I'm going to click the total sales amount, left arrow, left arrow, left arrow, left arrow. Right, you can see that as I, when I press enter, this total sales amount is going to move between sales price and line property. Enter. Ta-da! So now we've we've moved that around, right? Some of the the enhanced grid capabilities that we have, right? One of them is the ability to total these things. So now I have a big a big long list uh, of, of hours transactions here in this grid. I can right click on any any column and I can say total this column. Right? If I have a lot of data, it might take a while for this to process, right? If this is short, it's easier to deal with, right? So let's see how long this takes to to process. I should have thought about a simpler example before I started demoing this, but here we are. We'll wait together. And we have a favorite hold music, favorite song that they'd like to sing while, uh, while we go through this. You just do that by yourself in your head. Okay, there we go. So now we're looking at, right, we've got a total cost amount here. Total the sales amount, right, we do the same. And you can see, oh, my face is hiding this, but you can see right at the very bottom, we've got, you know, it gives us a number of rows and then it gives us totals for, for the values. You have to be careful with what you're totaling, of course, because, you know, totaling raw cost price doesn't really make sense as a total. That's not going to give you really valid data unless you're trying to do an average of some sort. So anyways, you get that with the, the totals. Another great feature is if we right click on, on some value, we have the ability to group by certain columns as well. So let's say we were, we're just concerned about um, you know, these totals re relative to um, you know, a given resource. You have the ability to group on a column and that's kind of like an Excel pivot table. Uh, so you can see what do we have here? Uh, right for a given resource, right? We have a resource ID, right? So Wendy Richards, and we can see everything for Wendy Richards is is here, and it's all grouped together. So these are, are Wendy's hours records, and then down here, these are Yvonne's records, and that's that's kind of nice. And then you know because we're totaling on this total cost amount, right? You can get totals for your your group records. So that's a, another convenience. And so the last thing that I'd like to show is the ability to freeze 
columns. And so what happens when you, you freeze a column, let me ungroup this just for a little bit of clarity. Uh, you know, let's say, you know, it, like, like in Excel, right, maybe there's something anchoring the far left side, but let's say that value was the resource. I'm going to use control shift P and personalize and we're going to move the resource to the, the far left. Let's say we were, we were basing everything that we wanted to look at here on resource. You know, so if, if resources is the, the key thing that we're looking at first in our in our table as we go down, but then you know as we scroll to the right, we lose visibility into what resource we you know our particular line relates to, and that can be unpleasant at times. So what you can do now, right, once that that freeze feature, right, this freezing columns and grids feature is enabled, you have the ability to right click on freeze. Um, uh, right click on your column, click freeze column, and it's kind of like just freezing panes in Excel, right? So now, right, resources here on the left, it's frozen, and as we scan to the right, we have, we have visibility in the resource all the way along. So that's just a little bit on some advanced grid capabilities, some of the new UIs, that uh, features that have come out with recent releases. Right, we have the ability to, to personalize and bring in right, additional co extra columns that, that might not naturally be exposed. We can move them around. We now have the ability to total those columns, to group by column values, and this great new feature of freezing, being able to freeze the left pane and, um, and have visibility to everything else in the grid. So that's, that's what I have for you today. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe and do all of that. Um, or just send me an, an email. Um, look forward to talking to you more.